That brings your total savings to $375 after spending only $110. In just three sales, you've got a discount of over 50% off the price of your target ship. Hello everyone, I'm Lonix Leth. Today, I will show you how to use the CCU game Google Chrome or Firefox extension to automate some of the management around CCU chaining. If you aren't yet familiar with what CCU chaining is and how it can save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars when buying ships, I'd highly recommend you watch my CCU chaining guide first to understand some of the core concepts we will be covering. You can find a link to that video in the corner. Go watch that first and come back when you're done. The CCU game tool works by scanning all of the sales currently available on the Pledge Store. It will use this information to find the cheapest upgrade path available at the time when the chain is created. During this process, the tool will intelligently include any upgrades you may have already purchased in order to maximize the discounts that you get on your target ship. As just mentioned, the tool builds chains based on what's currently available on the Pledge Store. This means that when you set up your chain will determine the size of the discount shown. During a time when there are lots of war bond sales on the Pledge Store, the discount shown in the tool will be much larger. If there are few discounts available on the Pledge Store, the discount shown will be smaller. However, it's critical to understand that the discount displayed in the tool is a placeholder. The savings shown only includes any discounts from already purchased upgrades or from sales currently available on the Pledge Store. This is not a projection of the final discount you will receive or even the best possible price for the target ship. I'm mentioning this at the outset because you probably aren't watching this video during a large pledge store sale. If so, then when you type in your desired chains, the discounts shown will likely be quite small. Do not let this discourage you as it is only your starting discount. With time, this discount will grow. Getting the biggest discount requires revisiting the tool and refactoring your chains each time there is a pledge store sale. Each successive sale provides opportunities to further discount each chain you are working towards. As you hopefully already know, CCU chaining is playing the long game towards acquiring the perfect fleet. The first step is to install the CCU game Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox plugin. Links to these plugins can be found in the description below. Once installed, you can open the tool by selecting it from the list of browser extensions. Next, you will need to sign in to your Star Citizen account so that the tool can set up chains and make recommendations based on your particular situation. Finally, select the Refresh and Refresh All options to populate the tool with current account and pledge store information. Now that data has been loaded into the tool, you can now explore the various features. These include your items, where you can easily see an organized view of everything that has been added to your account. RSI Store a standardized way of viewing everything available in the store in a tabular format. All ships, a list of all ships including critical information such as price, manufacturer, role, and development status. A CCU chain creator, where you can set up and manage upgrade paths to maximize discounts on ship purchases. Overview, where you can see high level information about your account, such as current spend to date, value of fleet, and the amount of money saved due to discounts. And finally, Wishlist, a summary of all the links needed to complete your currently planned chains. Start by heading to the CCU chain section on the left-hand menu of the tool. To set up your chains, you will need to be on the first tab at the top of the screen named Chain. You will want to first configure the tool by ticking the Show Missing CCUs and Exclude Saved Chains buttons at the top of the screen. First, the Exclude Saved Chains button allows the CCU game tool to use previously purchased upgrades that are not already allocated to another chain. If you are working towards more than one chain, this is necessary to ensure that a previously purchased upgrade doesn't become a dependency of multiple different chains. This also means that you will be correctly informed on the quantity of a particular upgrade to purchase if it is required by multiple different chains. Unless you are experimenting with drastic changes to your CCU strategy, it is generally best practice to leave this option on. The Show Missing CCUs button allows the tool to maximize your discount by using any of your previously purchased upgrades that are not already allocated to a different chain. 
Normally, the CCU game's chain building feature will only create chains that can be completed based on sales currently available on the pledge store. However, doing this can cause some discounted Warbond upgrades you've previously purchased to be omitted from the chain when the from ship for that upgrade isn't on sale. The show missing CCUs button will attempt to include these discounts in the chain even if it means the chain can't be completed at the moment due to there not being an active sale where the required upgrade can be purchased. The overwhelming majority of ships go on sale at least once a year, so for citizens who are maximizing their savings across multiple sales, the temporary unavailability of a single upgrade is typically not a cause for concern. If at any point you decide you are done with the chain and would like an upgrade path that can be completed with sales currently available on the pledge store, the show missing CCUs option can be left disabled. However, do be aware that this may remove from the chain some of the discounted Warbond upgrades you've previously purchased if they are not accessible using upgrades either currently on your account or actively available on the pledge store. For this reason, if you do decide to leave this option off to complete a chain, the best time to do so would be during the last few days of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo at the end of November, when historically, nearly every ship upgrade is on sale. If you'd like more information about the pros and the cons to applying a CCU chain before the release of the game, please consider subscribing. Hitting the bell icon will notify you when I release a video covering this topic in the near future. With the settings now properly configured, you must now program each of the desired chains into the tool. To do this, first select the base hole for the CCU chain in the From section. If you already have a ship you plan to start the chain from, such as one that includes lifetime insurance, you can pick this option from either your hangar if you already own the ship, or from a list of all ships in game if you are still planning on buying it. If you don't yet have a base hole in mind, you can instead use the Auto Select Best Starter Ship from Store option. The last and easiest part of setting up a chain is selecting the ship you'd like to go to. Once you have selected the target ship, you will see the best possible chain based on what's currently available in the pledge store. To record this as the chain you would like to pursue, hit the Save Chain button located under this proposal. The saved chain will now be available for reference under the Saved Chains tab at the top of the screen. After you click the Save Chain button, you may be asked if you would like the tool to recalculate the current chain. If you plan on chaining towards more than one of the target ship, recalculating will show you the path a second CCU chain would take based on any remaining unallocated CCUs currently available on your account. However, if you only plan on getting one of the target ship, then you likely don't want to recalculate, as this will allow you to continue to view the previously calculated chain you just saved. Repeat this process for each ship you would like to chain towards in your desired fleet. With the CCU chains now registered in the program, we must now wait until Warbond sales are available. Assuming some time has passed from when you last visited the tool to when there was a new ship or Warbond upgrade on the pledge store, you will want to first update to the newest data available by clicking on the Refresh button in the top left corner, followed by Refresh All. Next, you will want the tool to apply any newly available discounts to your existing chain. We call this process refactoring. To refactor a chain, you will first need to remove and then re-add the chain from the tool. To remove the chain, start by navigating to the Saved Chains tab. Click on the chain you'd like to update, and then take a quick note of the sum row at the bottom of the chain. In particular, you will want to document the values in the Pledge, Savings, and Credit columns. If you have already purchased the base hole for the chain, also note this down as well. When you are done recording this info, click the minus on the right side of the current chain's row to remove it from the list of saved chains. By removing the chain, you will unreserve any of the previously purchased upgrades along with the corresponding discounts so they are available when the tool recalculates the chain, factoring any new discounts on the store. To re-add the chain, you will head back to the Chain tab. Start by verifying that the Show Missing CCUs and Exclude Saved Chains options are enabled at the top of the screen. Next, type in the From and To ship for your chain. Don't forget to use the base hole you documented earlier if you have already purchased this ship for the chain. Before moving on, I want to quickly reiterate that the tool is designed to capture the biggest discount possible for each chain. This means that if there is a much larger discount available on the pledge store, it is likely that the tool will favor that discount over a different upgrade you may have already purchased with a smaller savings. 
These upgrades may still be used later, such as if you ever decide to add a new CCU chain, or if the value of an upgrade changes, like when a new ship is released. We will go over how you can find these unused upgrades within the CCU game tool at the end of this video. With the chain now refactored, the next step is to purchase the upgrades to lock in the discount. However, we don't want to purchase every upgrade currently listed, as this will also include upgrades that aren't discounted. To identify which upgrades we do want to purchase, we want to look at the origin column. Here, you will see a few different color-coded statuses, including a green hangar or upgrade label. These are ships or upgrades that you already own. An orange store label. These are items that can be purchased with store credit. A red store label with WB in parentheses. These are war bond purchases that must be paid for with new money, but that include steep discounts. A clock icon shown after either an orange or red label. This means that the item will only be available for a limited time. To reduce the final price of the target ship, you will want to buy each of the limited time red war bond upgrades that are available from the store. If there is only one or two upgrades to buy, you can click the plus shopping cart icon next to each upgrade. If there is a large sale with many war bond upgrades available, it may be quicker to hit the add all store items to cart button and then to remove any upgrades that do not include a war bond discount. Either way, once you have the discounted war bond purchases in your cart, you will need to complete the purchase so they are added to your account. With the new upgrades on your account, the next step is for the CCU game program to detect these purchases and to reserve them to the current CCU chain. To do this, click the refresh button once again, followed by the hanger option to let the tool know which purchases have been completed. Next, return to the saved CCU chain and press the refresh chain button for the tool to reserve those new purchases to this CCU chain. From here, we can compare the new pledge, savings, and credit values to the values we documented, seeing any additional savings that have been applied to the chain. Look at that! After the first sale, and with only a few Warbond upgrades, you are already saving $145 off the price of the ship. You have now finished the process of stacking additional discounts onto your first CCU chain. You should now repeat this process for each other CCU chain that you've saved. To show how the savings can pile up, let's fast forward time and look at two more sales. During the second sale, repeat this process to add an additional $145 in discounts. After two sales, that brings your total savings so far up to $295. Finally, during the third sale, we can tack on another $85 of savings using the same process. That brings your total savings to $375 after spending only $110. In just three sales, you've got a discount of over 50% off the price of your target ship. As you can see, to maximize your discounts, you will want to revisit the CCU game tool and refactor each one of your chains whenever there is a new Warbond sale available on the Pledge Store. Of course, your savings may differ from this example based on the Warbond offerings available during each sale and which discounts apply to your selected target ship. Before moving on, I wanted to give a quick reminder that if you are finding this video useful and would like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. As the game continues to be developed, there are often new ships added. This means it is not uncommon for citizens to want to pivot which ship they are working towards with their chains. To have the CCU game recalculate a particular chain to a different target ship, you will follow a similar set of steps as when progressing a chain. You will begin by removing the chain from the Saved Chains tab before re-adding it again, though this time you will re-add it pointing to the new target ship. Doing so will replace your old chain with a new one for your updated target ship, maintaining any discounts that are still applicable. The CCU game makes it easy to see which upgrades aren't currently being used by any of your saved chains. To view this list, head to the Your Items page and select the Upgrades tab. Finally, toggle the Exclude Saved Chains button. Here you will see the Saved and Percentage Saved columns. These columns will have a zero value for any upgrades purchased using store credit. Additionally, you will see a negative value for any upgrades where the starting ship's price has increased to be worth more than the destination ship. 
any upgrades that don't have a positive discount value will want to be exchanged back into store credit. You may also see in this list unused upgrades that do contain a discount. Depending upon how much flexibility you want when refactoring your chains, or based on how many chains you think you may eventually still start, you may decide to hold on to any unused upgrades that do have a discount. This is especially true if the upgrade's target ship is unreleased, as these will continue to increase in value throughout the development and also when the ship becomes viable. However, if you don't plan on using these upgrades, you can either exchange them for store credit or sell them on the gray market. Try and plan out your desired long-term fleet as early as possible. This will allow you to buy the correct number of base holes for each of your chains. Additionally, by refactoring your chains during each sale, you can maximize the savings by applying the same discounts to each of your active chains. If you would like to visualize your anticipated fleet, you can press the Export Fleet View button on the Saved Chains tab. Doing so will download a list containing each one of your purchased ships and saved chains. This list can be uploaded to the Fleet View tool to enable viewing each one of your ships, both released and unreleased, in full 3D. A link to the Fleet View tool can be found in the description below. Do you plan on using the CCU Game tool? Is there another method you've been using to manage your CCU chains? Or are there any tips that possibly I have missed? Please let us know in the comments below. If you'd like some personalized help or would want to find a group to play with, we have a new Discord. You can find the information in the description below. If you'd like to hang out live or join me online sometime, find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash You can find a link to the channel and the streaming schedule also in the description below. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the verse.